Hey, what's going on guys? Lasty here. Welcome to another episode of All My Squads, the new weekly series. Well, it's not new. I've been doing it for a few weeks now. You guys like to see what is in my squad all at one time, uh, just before we get rid of everything to prepare for the newest TOTS or Team of the Week or whatever. Um, so... Let's do it. First off, if you guys are looking to buy some coins, be sure to check out UT Coin Traders. As always, guys, the link will be in the description below for you. Um, right then. So today, you guys know it by now. I've got two bronze teams, which I'll never sell. Um, and I am not going to show you them this week. There's no point. I will be showing you these uh, silver teams. I, I always show you the Brazilian one. Um, and as you can see, we've changed it up a little bit. We've got Juicelai out of chemistry because he's in another squad. Mike on Liete is also in another squad. So whilst he was on six chemistry, uh, we put Enino back in there. Uh, but you've got your core players. We've also sold Paulinho's in form in favour of Leandro because I think this guy's a real god on this game. Uh, and we've got the Cruzero. Cruzario? Cruzaro? I don't know. That Wallison, uh, his card there. Uh, Great team, as always, amazing. I love the Brasilvas, they're just awesome this year, uh, and every year, to be fair. Uh, right, moving on, this is another team that I showed you last week. Uh, some real, real overpowered defense going on. Coyate, Mariapa, and Olmbach. Olmbach. That's a lot of pace. Two of our centre-backs have got 83 pace, and the other one's got 80, no, 77. So, that's great. We've got two rocks here in Diame and Ojijo Afoe. Real, real, real powerhouses there. Uh, pace out wings on uh, Sumahara and McCleary. Nice, nice pace. Uh, and then you've got a second in form who's got some really nice finishing. And then Syriac who's just a god on this game. And this guy who's default striker. But some decent stats there for a silver card across the board. Held the ball up really well as well. So I like him. Uh, so that is that squad. They're the two silver squads I'm currently rocking. Probably going to sell that second one. Um in a bit and try and make something a little bit more creative as well get some of the uh, blue tots players in there next one is called Bateson87 um, because I believe and this is sort of a it's just a German sweat team or a Bundesliga sweat team um, but because sort of Bates is known for for sort of bringing this upon the community on all the wages and stuff that the, you know I thought I'd show it to you and I'll name it Bateson87 so uh, for all intents and purposes, this is the sort of squad, and I believe him and Flutie and all that lot helped me build it on Twitter, just so I knew the right players to put in here. Um, so we've got up Adler in goal, who's a really good player for like 4 or 5k. And then we've got Pace at the back with Santana, Naldo, and uh, Boateng. Really, really tall, really, really fast, really, really strong defenders there. Um, and then two good workhorses here. I would like to swap this Jones guy out for... Uh, Xavi Martinez, who that was a suggestion by Flutie, and I will be doing that uh, because although he's slow, Xavi Martinez, I think he'll be better than this guy at defending. Like he, he stays really far back and stuff, so that would help out. Then we've got pace out on the wings with Blaszczykowski and Elia. El Elia's also got the five-star skill moves, which helps quite a lot. Uh, Gundawan is one of my favourite players in this game, and a lot of people would play him at CDM and then get like Goethe here or something. But I really like him at Cam, and that works well. And then you've got <laughs> pace, good shooting, and sweat. All it wrapped up into one up front. S-Wine being the dirtiest player on this game by far. Uh, closely followed by Og Bonner and David Luiz, I believe. Um, so that that's the, the Bates and 87 sweat team. Then we've got a Tots team. So this was from Friday or Saturday. I can't remember when I uploaded it. And uh, this is one of my favourite teams to play with. And... I've absolutely loved it. As you can see up top, Ibra, uh, he's out of formation because he's in a future team in a 4-3-3. So if he gets 8 chem at this position here. Um, and let's just run through the team. Mignolet in goal was a real good keeper. Solid, actually, on these, this card. This 82 rated team of the season card. Um, and then we've got regular Gibbs, who did a fantastic job for me. No need to get the inform. This guy, up Van Rijn, we're going to... I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, wow, what a fucking good card he is. Seriously, go out and pick yourselves up one of them. He's a really solid card. Then we've got a fantastic little partnership here in defence. Aldo Vireld and uh, second inform Kashelny. What a good partnership. Koscielny with the pace, Alderweireld with the great positioning, and uh, just all around really, really good defender. I liked him a lot for someone with under 70 pace. Uh, that's a little bit uh, unusual for me, 
Then we have our holding midfielder who's there for chemistry reasons for Aubameyang. Uh, and I was surprised by this guy at how good he was. He played some insane holding midfield play and just was playing like a CDM. Uh, but with also some good passing and stuff on him. And I was surprised by him to say the least. For 12.5k he's a great little player to use. Uh, and gets me a nice chemistry link with our left forward and our right forward. Um, this is a really important part of the team. This, the two outside central midfielders they both have four star skills and five star weak foot and that right there is so useful your your opponent does not know what's going to hit him um because you can shoot from anywhere and they've both got crazy shots that uh, and they're just great dribbling and passing and stuff really awesome pace and uh really really good players up front Paye being a more technically uh, technically gifted player Aubameyang being more pacey stronger and a real finisher it's insane his shots are great uh, and then the big man Ebra up top but we'll talk about more more about him in the next team uh, right then we have the random pick this is probably another one of my favorite teams actually I'm not sure if it beats uh, the team I just showed you but the fact that it's got these two in one squad just kind of makes me happy and uh, they're both just so so good in this game uh, this centre back partnership right here is ridiculous. You have to try it, even if it's with regular the, the regular Sacco card. Just try it. It is just insane. I love it. One of the best I've used for sure. Uh, Lucas and Modric uh, were not that brilliant. Like Modric, yeah, he's got some nice passing on him. Played through a few nice balls, uh, but I would probably choose uh, Kaká or Özil. And um, uh, the Argentinian guy, I can't remember what his name is. Pastore, that's it. I would choose him in that position. Or you could go with anyone from the French League. Uh, so you could pick out a nice, a nice solid midfielder there. That would work well. But this dude, Matuidi, absolutely bosses it. What a player. Um, I found out recently that he's left-footed. I always thought, you know, he's a really great defensive player. But when I try and shoot with his right foot, he's just so wank. And he hasn't got a shot on him at all. Uh, and then I realised he's actually left-footed. And he's actually got quite a tanky little shot on him. So he's now become the perfect centre midfielder for me. Really, really appreciate the work that he does for this squad. Uh, and he's a great player. Menez also very good. Uh, but it's all about these two. It's all about regular Ronaldo. You don't need any tots ones or informs. You just don't need it. They're not worth it. This Ronaldo is perfect. And then Tots Ibra, he is a big upgrade from his regular card. Uh, simply because of the pace, I think. Um, otherwise, the shooting and stuff is probably all alright anyway. But his, his dribbling and that is just insane. They've both got 92 dribbling. Both got over 90 shooting. It's just ridiculous. Um, and I love them to bits. They're my favourite two players in this game for sure. Uh, so that's saying something. Next, we've got my favourite Brazilian team. A lot of you will be interested in this. Uh, we've got some really good players, some really OP players uh, and stuff like that. So in goal, we've got the man of the match, Victor, who has got some great stats. He has got 87 diving and 89 reflexes being the two standouts on him. Um, then we've gone with pace, height and OPness. <laughs> Penis? What? Um, <laughs> we've got Dede at the back, who's, who's our cheap but really, really OP centre-back. Uh, then we've got Dante, who's got 75 pace, a fantastic boost on his pace there for his team of the season card. 88 defending, 89 heading is awesome. And then probably the best Brazilian centre-back in the game, bar none, it is Thiago Silva. 87 pace, 94 defending and 90 heading. If it wasn't for him being a little bit too small for a centre-back, like if he was like 6 foot 3, I'd, ha I'd happily lose six of that pace like i'd rather him be 81 pace and six foot four or something than to be six foot or six foot no he's, he's either 511 or six foot i think uh, and he's got 87 pace which is just ridiculous then we've got my two favorite brazilian cdms jusele and david luis man of the match um i've mixed some silvers in this squad normally it doesn't work out too well for me but i think i've picked some really overpowered ones anyway and some really solid ones that rival golds uh, and Jusilai is just ridiculous on this game. I love him. His long shot is beastly. He just matches a gold player you know, like so easily. Uh, he really, really does. And then we've got man of the match, Luis, who's just overpowered in a nutshell. Then we've got two five-star skillers. We've got Neymar and Michael Liete. Liete being probably the weakest link in this squad. Uh, I'm not quite sure who I would get over on the right-hand side of midfield because you can't get the normal Hulk because we've got him up front. Um, 
Then we've got the legend, <coughs> excuse me, that is Ronaldinho, second in form. Um, at the time of recording this, he hasn't got a team of the season card or a special card yet. So hopefully he'll get one at some point and I can upgrade him in this squad. But as of now, he hasn't got one. Uh, and he's ridiculous. Lovely shooting, passing, dribbling, sets up so many goals. Uh, put a pace card on him and he becomes one of the best players in the game, no doubt about it. Then Wallison has got great skills and stuff. And then Hulk's got the shooting and the pace as well uh, and the four-star skill moves. So that is the Brazilian squad. I really enjoy that one as well. And then Tots versus Sweat from BBVA. Uh, we went with the 4 triple two. We went with some of the cheaper uh, Tots players this week, obviously apart from Falcao up top. Um, but we have... Courtois in goal, and we've got Varane and Miranda, who are a great little partnership. Uh, Varane being actually decent, like 68 pace, I normally wouldn't choose that, but he is actually really good. He's six foot three, so that helps out quite a lot. And he's not actually that slow, he doesn't feel it, especially with partnered with Miranda. Uh, Felipe Luis is such a really cool card. He's got 86 pace, 85 passing, 87 defending, and 84 dribbling. Like, good stats on him, and he's a solid left back. Does a great job. Then Busquets, a lot of people hate him. And to be honest, he's a bit of a dick when it comes to real life and he's diving and rolling around the field and stuff. Uh, but on the game, he's really good. Don't don't look at that 62 pace. You don't need that or the shooting. You just need that 89 defending and 84 passing. Really helpful in this squad. Uh, Benyat is actually probably not the greatest position for him. A wide cam with someone with 72 pace. But great shooting, passing and stuff to make him awesome. And he's got perfect free kicks as well. Uh, and then we've got Falcao who has got 82 pace, 89 shooting. Not, no different at all to his 94 card, in my opinion. Uh, a decent striker, shooting on both feet. Uh, and that is the squads. So hopefully I will have edited it so that you could have seen the price of each squad as we went through. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you have for all of these cool teams and stuff. And subscribe if you haven't done already. I know a lot of you find my videos from finding these all my squads type things. So press that subscribe button and uh, enjoy some more FIFA 13 and 14 content when that comes out. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you next time guys. Peace.